Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for The Walking Dead Comics issue 186. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this month. Like I said, I've been enjoying this arc and I've been enjoying the Commonwealth stuff. Uh, we ended off last time with Mercer actually telling Rick to um, basically, you know, that they need him as the leader of the Commonwealth. And Dwight already kind of wanted to take it over, but I feel like... Um, Dwight and Mercer's ideas of what taking over might look like might look a bit different. Uh, either way, it's hard to say I'm not on Team Dwight in a way, but maybe he is being a, <sighs> maybe he is being a bit too extreme about it. And Mercer could always totally betray us, but for right now, I kind of trust the guy. He seems nice enough, and um, kind of Team Mercer as well. So I guess we'll see how things go. Definitely not Team Michonne. Uh, Michonne's way of going about this totally not not on the cool side of things um, but yeah either way I am going to still make a video like I said uh, discussing the first half of the TV show season 9 uh, because I really love the first half of this TV season uh, so I wanted to say that's still coming eventually but I'm not going to talk about it too much here uh, because this is about the comics so let's go ahead and actually start reading the comics uh, so we have issue 186 the powder keg and this, again, like I said, I haven't been looking ahead of time at the uh, titles and at the cover art like I used to. And so this, clicking on to this when I got it today, um, really kind of shocking me. Not, I wasn't expecting it to look like this. We have the, uh, the gun pointed maybe from Dwight's hands? Or actually, I don't know, it's dark skin, maybe it's Mercer's? I thought it was just the shading at first, but maybe it's actually Mercer. Who knows, but we have the gun aimed at Rick shielding Pamela. And I feel like this is going to be another one of those things where it's symbolic, like Dwight with the shotgun to the back of Rick's head. It might be symbolic of um, Mercer trying to take over, but Rick is shielding Pamela from takeover by saying, no, nah, no, nah, things are fine. We just need to settle this peacefully, you see? But uh, either way, we're starting off at Hilltop, it looks like, actually. Um, again, like I said, too, last week, I am totally not Carl X, um, God, I don't even, Sophia. I was never Carl X Sophia, and I do not ship this, do not want. Uh, but we have Sophia sitting around. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm new here. I don't really know anyone. Do you mind if I sit here? Oh, whisper a boy. That's fine. And we have Carl smiling, <laughs> trying to set them up with thumbs up. Uh, uh, this is great. And she rolls her eyes at him. What are you doing? And we have Eugene with uh, Stephanie getting up out of bed. I thought you were asleep. Get out of here. Go to the kitchen. Wait, what? Okay, but is everything alright? I'm repinning my wig, she says. Wig? Oh, you think some black women naturally have soft flowing hair? No. Now get out of here. I don't want you to see me like this. Why do you wear a wig? Because it makes me feel good. Get out. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Do you want to see my real hair? Yo, do it. Free him. And then she pulls the wig off. There, you happy now? Yeah, I am. I think you're beautiful no matter what. That's sweet. Aw, I like this. You look really cool without it. Yeah, yeah, I don't wear it for you. So get out there. <laughs> so get out and let me finish. Yes, ma'am. Getting out. Okay. Finally, says Dwight. You're lucky they let you out at all after what you did. Again, I love that Laura is constantly kind of a voice of reason in the series now. Um, you're lucky they let you out at all after what you did. What the hell were you thinking? You could have been killed. Isn't that true every day? At least this would have been for something that matters. You know, I agree with you. These people need some or someone to save them. Might as well be us. What's the rush? I feel like this is something we need to take our time on. Forgive me if people being beaten to death in the street brings me a certain sense of urgency, says <laughs> Dwight. As a point, I'm not trying to downplay things, I'm just saying there needs to be a plan. We didn't even discuss what you did here. Where's Rick with all this? He'll come around, says Dwight. You know, I really do like Laura here. He said that. He did. And I think he meant it, says uh, Rick, talking to Michonne. Michonne is not the person to talk to. I know she's your best friend, but I don't know if we can trust her on this one. So what then? What are you going to do? I don't know, but after talking to Mercer, I'm thinking maybe Dwight is right about this place. What, she says? 
Come on, Michonne, you have to admit this place isn't perfect, but don't misunderstand me, it's close. Closer than Dwight seems to recognize, but he's right that these people need help. And he's right that these people will back us if we try to take over. Oh my god, what, says Michonne. I'm sorry, but their systems here are completely backwards and unfair. I can't just sit by and ignore that. I can't believe you can just sit by and ignore that. Michonne's doing a very good job at sitting back and ignoring people suffering. The Commonwealth has a lot of room for improvement. That's what excites me about being here. What can be done with the people here? You're right. They need help. But they don't need this, and she points at his gun. They need this, and she points at his head. We need your mind, your sense of fairness. All you need to do is show them a better way. And now we cut over to Elodie and some friends. No one leave or no one leaves. We order more food if we have to. This is going to be the longest lunch ever. We never see you now, Elodie, so we have to make the most of it. I know, or I know, guys. Things have been so crazy lately. I'm sorry. I'm here for the long haul today. Promise. Look, we're really happy for you. So happy you found your mother, but Nancy, don't. What? What's going on? It's just your mom. She pissed off a lot of people defending those guards, and now you're living in that new place with her? I don't know. With everything going on here, we're worried about what side you're on. Side. And of course, the good life had quickly switched Elodie over to uh, not caring about people. But either way, it looks like we're jumping to Alexandria now. We got Heath and Magna, Vincent. No, I don't have any reason to be alarmed. I'm just trying to be cautious, says Magna. Rick left me in charge. I want to be prepared for anything. You're saying that's too much trouble. All I'm, or all I'm saying, or wait, I'm not saying that at all. It's just, you know how word spreads around here. It's hard to tell our militia to stay at the ready without worrying about what they're getting ready for. People saw those armored guards when they were here. Everyone knows something's brewing, says Vincent. No, Vincent, nothing is brewing. I just want to be ready if something starts brewing. Okay, nothing is happening. Everything's fine. But you want everyone alert and they're ready just in case things are suddenly not fine? I think I got it. You know, that's more or less status quo around here, right, says Heath? Of course I know that. I just want both of you to know I'm concerned. I just, I still can't get over how much the actor they had portray Heath on the show looks so much like the comic character. But either way, of course, I know that. I just want both of you to know I'm concerned, so whatever standard level of alertness you guys are operating on, I want you to increase that, okay? We can do that, yeah. Alright. Now we see uh, Mercer and Pamela and Lance's group, and we, okay, scrolling down, we have Maxwell, her son, I forget his name, I think it's Sebastian or something? I don't know. Uh, and Michonne, Rick, and Dwight are there. I'll take the one on the right, in the plaid shirt. Excellent choice, Governor. Okay, and Maxwell hands her a gun. Thank you, Maxwell. Okay, sir, are they shooting walkers for fun, perhaps? And she totally misses, hits the shoulder. Great shot. Thank you. Mercer, could you please? And then Mercer starts walking up to actually kill them. And then Rick and Dwight look at each other like, the fuck is this shit? Excuse us? The hell are we watching? What was the- she shot at shoulder? What was that? And now Mercer's actually killing them with the axes. Okay, I think that's enough for today. What say- what do you say we head back? Says Pamela. Fine with me. I didn't want to come- come in the first place. Should we help him? Says Michonne. Mercer's got it covered. Come on, he'll catch up. And Mercer's still fighting them. And Michonne is following, but looks back to see Dwight and Rick watching still, like, what in the hell is this shit? <laughs> and we have it, what the hell was that all about, says Dwight, going back to Mercer. Oh, you've never been on a hunting party before. Sorry, should have explained before we left. The governor usually has us leave a few stragglers out in the wild, not enough to be dangerous. She likes to take a group out there to make it look like she has a part in keeping the area safe. Gives her something to do. So all of that was just for show, says Dwight. I don't know what to tell you guys. Almost everything here's for show. The Commonwealth is past due for a change. We hear you. Loud and clear, says Dwight. And then Rick is looking on pretty pissed too. Yeah, Mercer is definitely on the right side of things here. Okay, we're here. What's this all about? And we have Dwight and Rick meeting Michonne. 
I'm worried you're going to make a horrible mistake. Like selling out your people for a nice apartment. That's uncalled for, says Rick. I'm not in the mood for a lecture. Maybe I'm wrong. But the stakes seem pretty fucking high here. I think it's time to stop playing nice. Why would you ever want to stop playing nice? What's your goal here? Are you just itching for a fight, says Michonne. I have to say, I agree with Michonne. From what I can tell, no one, including the people in charge of the Commonwealth, think there's no room for improvement here. I think it's possible we can all work together to make things better for everyone. We agree on what needs to be done, we just disagree on how to get there. Honestly, Rick, it's a relief to hear you say that. I'm starting to get really worried about the path you were going down. I also believe we can work together with Pamela and her people to right whatever wrongs are present in their system. That's why I hope you don't mind that I invited... And then Pamela busts in. Listening in from the hallway is really not my style. Nonetheless, I'm very pleased to hear you and I are on the same page, Rick. But Dwight, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go. What are you, what are you doing? It was just supposed to be you. Why'd you bring them, says Michonne. Of course you can't trust Michonne. She a snitch. She a bitch now. Like, she is totally selling out all of her people, both in the sense of selling out sort of the non-leadership people of the Commonwealth, and also in selling out her Alexandrian people for a nice apartment. What are you doing? It was just about, or it was just supposed to be you. Why the hell did you bring them? You agreed to come here to talk talk with people colluding against me? Are you insane? Michonne, what did you do? Says Rick. Don't you get it, Rick? She's with them now. It's all over. I'm on the side of whoever wants to work this out peacefully, says Michonne. I brought you all here so that we could talk. We all need to calm down and do just that. There's no solution here that doesn't cause her to lose power. Do you really think you can peacefully talk her, or peacefully talk her into giving up her power over these people? Dwight, please... I assure you that I'd always choose what's best for the people of the Commonwealth. I take my role here very seriously. Are you fucking kidding me? Am I the only guy who sees through this bullshit? I see now. There's no getting around this. Guards, arrest this man. Make this easy on yourself. Don't resist. Okay, shit is popping off like crazy. Everyone, stay the fuck back or I will blow her fucking head off, says Dwight pulling his gun. Dwight, put down that... er... Put that gun down. You can't do that, Rick. I know these people. Whether it's Negan or this woman, the only thing they respect is power. The, uh, this is the only thing she'll listen to. Watch. Tell them not to move, or you die right now. Stay where you are, she says. See, we have the advantage here, Rick. We could take their leader down right away. Everything would fall into place without her. People here would thank us. F er, thank us. You know that. And I love the visual of the tear starting to stream down his uh, face from his burnt eye. This is how it has to be. We have to do this. And then Dwight gets fucking killed. Of course I saw it coming. Possibly the best character in the series right now. Gets killed probably by bitch-ass Michonne, wasn't it? Nope, it was Rick. Rick had to keep the peace. Bitch-ass Rick was wrong about this. Dwight was right. Dwight did nothing wrong. Thank you, Rick. I won't forget this. Michonne, I'll be sending someone to clean this up. Dwight did nothing wrong. Army should side with Dwight. Overthrow Rick and Michonne. Bitch asses don't need to lead anymore. Are you happy? Says Laura. What? Or at least I think. No, it was Rick. You did this. What? Dwight's dead because of what you did. You think I couldn't have managed Dwight? Do you really think he was going to sway me into putting more lives in danger? You couldn't just trust me. Why'd you bring Pamela there? How'd you, er, how'd you think that was gonna go? I don't know. I'll never forgive you for this. I'll never forget how you pushed me into a corner, what you made me do. What I made you do? Dwight was unhinged. You knew he was gonna snap at any moment, and you're somehow haunted by what you did? Don't you realize what you did will save lives? You avoided a war. Did I? Or did I just join the wrong side in one? Yeah, because now, again, like Dwight said, with the people siding with him over Rick before, what if the people do side with him over Rick? If they learn that Rick killed him, like, what if the Alexandrians decide to just revolt? So, yep, this was crazy. This was exciting. Probably the best character in the series was Dwight at this point, and he just died. So, 
Michonne has gone full bitch. I, I don't think I can come back. Like what Rick was said with not forgiving her, I don't think I can come back to Team Michonne. I already hated how she just kind of decided, oh, hey, a nice apartment. Let's give up all my values and everything I learned. Let's just completely turn on everyone because I get a nice apartment. But to go, like, this far into thinking, that's ah, fine, Dwight died, all is good. Um, yeah, Michonne's gone way too far down the train of no return. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm still kind of with Rick here because he realizes that a peaceful solution is good, and yet at the same time, even though a peaceful solution's good, you may have just forced me into not having a peaceful solution because of your bitch-ass inviting Pamela ideas. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a hell of a one to review, and especially the guards beating the guy to death too as well, and Michonne just siding with them uh, was also kind of a, kind of a interesting moral dilemma that she kind of failed at. Um, I mean, she did okay in finding a mediated solution, but still, I don't know. I feel like right, I feel like Dwight was totally right on this. Uh, it seems as though she did just answer to power, and especially seeing what she did with the walkers outside, putting people at risk just to do that stuff all for show, is uh, really, really sketchy. And I feel like I'm firmly on Team Mercer now as well, after all of that. Uh, Mercer is kind of holding this place together in the right way. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of Team Mercer, kind of still somewhat Team Rick, uh, definitely Team Dwight, and I feel as though... The Alexandrians are not going to like this shit one bit. They are not going to trust the Commonwealth now, nor do I think they should. I don't think they should trust the Commonwealth at all, not with its current leadership. Seems like the people want to overthrow the leadership, which is good, and I kind of feel like they need to because the leadership is really corrupt and bad. Um, I feel like we're seeing more and more of how corrupt and bad it is. We're like... I, every month I've been like, ah, oh, well, it has its problems, but they can solve this peacefully. And then I'm like, okay, it has more problems. Okay, it has more problems. And I still think they could solve it relatively peacefully. I feel like Mercer and the guards would side with Rick and them mostly. I feel like most of the citizens would side with Rick and them if they said, hey, you get freedom and you don't have to be forced to do a certain job anymore. I feel like most people would be very, very okay with that. Hey, there's no more stratification of society in the post-apocalypse. I feel like more. I feel like most people would be okay with that. So, uh, yes, yeah. Michonne's kind of become a bad guy. Dwight died a martyr, likely, uh, and this is going to kind of cause hell within the Alexandria and allied communities, and also within the Commonwealth. So this was a big. This was a big issue. Uh, either way, though, I hope you enjoyed it. Like if you did, like the video comment down there to tell me what you thought of this issue what you thought of my first thoughts and reactions review will be up sometime within the next week probably i was going to do it tomorrow but this might actually turn into a long discussion kind of review so it might take me until the weekend even um so yeah like comment subscribe for more both the walking dead um both the comics and the tv show so, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a video on the TV show because I love the first half of the season. And for the back half of the season, I don't know if I'll review it week to week because that would be a hell of a drain on uh, my schedule that's all already crazy. Uh, but we'll see. If enough people are like, yes, we really want you to review it weekly, I might go back to doing that for the show. Uh, it just depends on how many people I can get to be like, yeah, we want that. Um, then uh, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. And if you want to link to my, um, if you want to link to the Discord server to talk to me or more of us about anything there, then just ask and I can give you a link to the Discord server. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.